Hey guys, welcome in this video. I want to show you the Grand Theft Auto San Andreas on the Samsung Galaxy S2, uh, three-year-old phone from now, and it's uh, rocking the dual-core Exynos chipset with Mali 400 GPU, and I'm using the Revolution ROM, which I like the most, and this is my current daily driver ROM, if you want to ask me. So, let's just fire this up. GTA San Andreas for the Android here. Uh, I also done a review on the iPhone 5. Uh, you can check out on my channel. So let's just first of all check out the settings we have here, the display setup. And the interesting thing here is the visual effects. It's are on high. As you can see, it's are on high. And we have 100% resolution, a little bit 55% draw, draw distance, classic shadows, and low car reflection. So not too bad for a three-year-old phone. So let's just check out here. Let's quickly launch the game. So let's just see the uh, here loading loading times of this device. It's not bad, actually. It's uh, kind of identical to the iPhone 5 loading time. It's not that bad. After five years on the East Coast, it's time to go home. Welcome to our bedroom, dear one. What's up? Call her sweet. What's up, sweet? What you want? This mom. What's your dad, bro? So I'm just skipping the uh, here cutscene. Let's just dig into the game. Let's just do oh, wait a minute. It's the brightness here. A little bit here. So as you can see, I'm pretty much amazed by the performance here. It's not too bad. Let's just grab a car. Okay, so these are the buttons. I want to use the uh, stand-up buttons. So this is the performance here. So um, it's not that bad, you know. It's running actually pretty amazing. I I I'm pretty amazed by the performance actually. And if you ask me about uh, my device uh, software, so I'm running the Revolution Custom ROM with Anor 4.0. Uh, 1.2 gel bean and of course with a SIA kernel that's my favorite kernel uh, kernel and uh, just because of the battery life and the gaming performance and I haven't overclocked the device it's running on 1.2 gigahertz however I have slightly overclocked the GPU um, up to uh, the uh, at least 400 megahertz I think the maximum value uh, for you know good frame rates uh, so other than that, this is pretty amazing. You know, the performance is pretty amazing. Let's just here check out something else. So let me just climb up here in the light area. Sometimes the frame rate drops, but it's not too of a big deal because it's a three-year-old phone, and still it's running this game like a piece of cake. You know, this is pretty smooth. And let's just run around. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, let's just move around and round and round and round. So as you can see, the uh, these things here in the background are not, uh, you know, uh, lagging or stuff like that. If you ask me about frame rate, it's not definitely uh, the uh, 60 frames per second. Uh, but I do say that this frame rate is uh, above uh, somewhere between 25 to um, 30 frames, frames, 25 to 35 frames per second, and sometimes maybe it's above 40 frames per second. I'm not using the uh, frame FPS meter. I'm just telling you uh, about my guess. It's just a guess, but uh, you know it's pretty pretty popping. And one thing to, uh, you know, take into account that I have low battery, so uh, I don't know if it's uh, running on power saving mode. I'm definitely sure that's not running on power saving mode, but you can clearly see the performance is 
is a lot more uh, more than acceptable you know San Andreas running amazing on this device as you can see when you when we have oh here is the battery low okay so it's amazing you know the performance is amazing I can tell you the performance is better than most of the handsets out there it can run more games and also if you want more frame rates you can overclock your device and which is pretty popping thing it's pretty amazing thing so uh, let's just get the hell out of here okay so it's pretty amazing like you don't have to get uh, you know latest handsets to to play uh, HD games because you know uh, most of the high-end games runs on this uh, phone the Galaxy S2 pretty good you know you don't have to buy uh, some heavy handsets uh, for gaming well one thing that I would suggest that if you want gaming I, I recommend you to buy an iPad because that bigger screen will gonna help you a lot iPad Air which is definitely my choice for gaming. I will soon gonna buy iPad Air. Uh, but anyways, uh, this uh, now we are talking about the S2 or running the San Andreas. So, you know, it's a amazing phone by Samsung. It's a legendary phone. You can clearly see its power. You know, it's running uh, pretty good. Uh, it's not that hot uh, in the back here, but you know, it's pretty good. Uh, if you ask me about the performance and as compared to the iPhone 5 uh, it is pretty acceptable it is actually better than the iPhone 4s I, I've seen the video um, of, of the performance of GTS Andreas on the iPhone 4s it is definitely better and of course on the iPhone 4s we get a 3.5 inch of uh, display which is uh, pretty pretty uh, not good uh, for this kind of games because we have a lot of buttons so we, and also that this game is not uh, you know looking uh, that much good in, in terms of you know playing uh, on the iPhone 5 and 5s that 4 inch display uh, but definitely if, if you have a above 4 inch display device like the S2 or if you have a Galaxy S4 then that would be you know pretty pretty amazing for you Okay, so let's just get out here. Oh my god. As you can see, then when we have a lot of cars and a lot of things going on on the screen, we do get some frame drops, uh, but n no big deal, no major lags. Uh, we get, you know, we get only frame drops, no major lags. Uh, most of the ga time, the game will run above 25 frames per second, but sometimes it will go uh, to 15 frames per second, but it's not a big deal. Um, it's running amazing. Now we have nothing going uh, in front of us. Now it's stable on 30 frames per second. So yeah, thanks for watching guys and if you enjoyed this video then definitely throw me a like button and it will definitely uh, help me a lot and also if you have any questions then feel free to comment down below and I will soon gonna upload a video of how to install this game absolutely free on Android and also if you are iOS users you can check out uh, my channel I have a tutorial for iOS users how to install GTS Andreas on iOS devices absolutely free uh, and um, also yeah, subscribe for more awesome content to come and I will definitely gonna make better videos and yeah, see you soon. Peace out.